Hi, I'm Matt Needham, and this is my lecture on HVACR career opportunities. We're going to talk about the 30 or so different paths that air conditioning and refrigeration can lead to as far as different careers that are involved. Now, I always say that in life you want to be very firm, very hard about your big goals, and you want to be extremely flexible about how you attain them. And we want to keep that in mind as far as career opportunities in air conditioning and refrigeration. Probably most of you that are watching this um, lecture would like to have a career around air conditioning and refrigeration, work that you enjoy uh, with, with uh, a good income, um, something like that. And you should have a very firm goal of that. However, a lot of times people make a mistake, and I think maybe I made some of these mistakes when I was younger, as a teenager starting out in the trade, um, that they also get very specific, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to work for this company. I'm going to join this apprenticeship. I'm going to start my own business. And that's good, but sometimes we don't have our eyes open to some of these other opportunities that come our way. People get very stuck on HVAC, HVAC. What about the R? What about the refrigeration? Perhaps some opportunities will present themselves to you in regarding to refrigeration or working with boilers or energy management. And you should be open to that because really air conditioning refrigeration, the basic skill set is the same and then there's specialties that we can engage in. But a lot of the fundamentals that we teach translate into both air conditioning, refrigeration, boilers and what have you. So let's talk about some of these different little opportunities that you should always be aware of that may come your way that you should be open to to achieve your big goal of having a good career that you enjoy, good income in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry. Now, you may want to work for an air conditioning or refrigeration contractor. A lot of times that's demanding. It's difficult work, but you're going to learn a lot. You'll have to, uh, the ability to learn from others, to be work on a wide variety of equipment. Uh, be aware, though, that also long term, if you're working for an air conditioning uh, or refrigeration contractor, that um, you're going to be working really hard, maybe earning good money, but you'll also really be having your job in order to make somebody even more money. Um, so that's a path and there's different ways you can go about that union, non-union, um, and we'll talk about uh, a little of that and some of those opportunities coming up. A lot of times people say to me, Mr. Needham, you know, I'm just, people want two, three years experience. I'm just getting out of school. Um, what can I do? Well, sometimes getting a job in an air conditioning or refrigeration supply house might be a good entry level job. And people say, I don't know, I don't go, I'm not going to get an associate's degree or certificate just to work in a supply house. Well, I always say first, when you start off in your career, you should work to learn and then work to earn in the years to come. Work to learn first and then work to earn. And if you're working in a supply house for even just six months, I guarantee you're going to be learning quite a bit. If you work at a Johnstone a air cold, an RSD, or any of these other companies that sell air conditioning refrigeration parts, you're going to learn the model numbers, the meaning of the model numbers, and what that tells you about the size of the equipment, the capacity, the electrical characteristics, how this condensing unit matches with this evaporator and furnace, uh, the proper names of the tools and the parts. But also, you'll be developing a relationship with 30, 40, 50 people who can offer you a job where they get busy in the summer and you're like, hey, I'll take my smock off and come to work for you right now. So it's a great way to make connections um, to work at a supply house and you'll be learning initially also. Another type of kind of entry level job might be working on vending machines. We don't think about that, but in the world there's millions of vending machines. Even you can get a job working for Coca-Cola, working for Pepsi Company, um, working on their vending machines and You'll probably get some good benefits, uh, things of this nature, and uh, be learning. Also, that might also be like a little niche business maybe you'd like to do, is just working on all kinds of refrigerated um, vending machines. Um, that could be a little business you might want to start also. Also, sometimes people aren't thinking like, well, 
let me apply it Tyson chicken. You know these food processing plants uh, with the giant freezers? Somebody has to work on these and maintain them. So working at food processing plants, that's also something you can look for um, to apply for jobs. Um, different apprenticeships. Um, I teach at Los Angeles Trade Technical College and just down the street is Local 250's training center, which I believe is going to be moving soon to San Dimas. But the, they accept applications on Friday mornings in person as of now uh, to join the apprenticeship. And you can start off as a tradesman and then get into the apprenticeship. And it's a five-year program. has very good pay and benefits at the end of the program. Also, local, local 501, the operating engineers in Los Angeles, actually the community college trade tech uh, does the apprenticeship classes for local 501. And this is working for a big facility, a big building, a high rise, um, something like that. And doing a whole bunch of different trades, um, air conditioning being one of them. Also here in Los Angeles, we have local 40, which is the studios union. Really it's the electricians union, but as part of that, we have air conditioning refrigeration. And again, trade tech administers that apprenticeship. Um, program the uh, classes for the air conditioning. Another place that you might think about wanting to work, apply, are different government funded jobs, state or federal government, city, Los Angeles County jobs. Um, these jobs are usually more secure and have much better benefits um, than a lot of other jobs. More time off, better medical, better pension, vision, dental, uh, holiday, sick pay, all of this. And that kind of adds to your life. I mean, if somebody were to offer you a job starting out at $20 an hour with outstanding government type benefits, or they offered you another job for $26 an hour with no benefits whatsoever, you would do much better to take the lower paying job with the benefits. So you have to consider that in your life. Um, not only the job security, but the time off, um, the sick days, uh, the pension, all of that. And sometimes when you're young, you're not always thinking about your pension. But when you get to be my age, I think about the pension. So again, applying, going to, and they put on tests, uh, the federal government, to try and make it somewhat fair, the federal government, state, county, city. Whenever you apply for one of these jobs, and they have lots of them, they try to make it fair by doing a written test, maybe a bit of a hands-on test. And the fact that if you're in a school like LA Trade Tech, you're miles ahead because you're used to taking tests. So your test anxiety is not as great as somebody who hasn't been in school for 10 years, even though those people may be very good with their hands, very good uh, at fixing things. But the fact that you are used to taking these multiple choice tests and whatnot puts you uh, at a big advantage. So you should look at that. Also, places like museums, the uh, United States Postal Service, prisons, police office, sheriffs, maybe the zoo, whatever. Um, you can go and look online at these places and look when they put on their tests and investigate that. Also, schools, they test, they hire their own air conditioning people. Uh, at LA Trade Tech, uh, at the community college district, the nine, I used to work at Valley College for 12 years, turning the wrenches. And then I started also teaching part-time at Trade Tech. Um, they have a test and they administer it every few years when they have openings. And you have to be aware and looking for that. And you can maybe get one of these jobs. They also have a job known as a maintenance assistant. A lot of times when people think of schools, they think of school districts like Los Angeles Unified School District. There's a lot of other smaller cities, though, and school districts, whether it be Compton or Long Beach or Burbank or Glendale or Pasadena. These cities, these schools, you can also look at when they offer their little test and get a very good job. Um, also, these jobs tend to be a little bit less stressful, too. Okay. You can also get a job for an HVACR manufacturer, just like people like, you know, Ford sells cars, Chevy, Toyota, what have you, and people are like, I'm only going to the dealership for service. A lot, you know, it's the same thing. People spend a half a million dollars on a chiller system from train, 
from York, from McQuay, from Carrier. Um, they want those companies to service that equipment, that ex super expensive equipment. So actually going to work for some of those companies I mentioned, you can do the warranty work, the repair work, working on very large um, equipment. Those are pretty good companies to work for. Um, also, you could work for energy management companies, something like Siemens. They uh, administer Apogee uh, Energy Management. So you can look for these uh, opportunities also. Um, boilers, operators, that's kind of an extension of our trade. I used to run these high pressure boilers. And um, places still need those to a certain extent. Hospitals, factories, breweries. And there's a lot of work at, let's say, hospitals. And uh, even now with COVID-19, there's, a, you know, People don't realize the complexity of the air conditioning involved in hospitals. So many rooms have to have a positive air pressure or a negative air pressure based on, uh, you know, whether they're doing surgeries in there or what have you. And so learning all of that is pretty interesting. So hospital work is, and also they do a lot of times, some of those guys do some refrigeration as far as the cafeteria goes in the hospitals. Um, breweries like Budweiser or Miller, um, they have refrigeration and they have boilers involved in the brewing processes. Uh, perhaps you like beer. Uh, okay, so um, also hotels, they hire their own people, um, in-house maintenance, kind of like building engineers. And knowing air conditioning and some refrigeration can really give you a leg up, especially if you're going to be a building engineer, an operating engineer, because... Like I say, air conditioning, refrigeration, if you take some electrical and put it in and you take some plumbing and put it in and then put a dash of thermodynamics and mix it all up, you know what you get? This is what you get, air conditioning, refrigeration technician. And so um, a lot of times when they have to hire somebody with a specific trade background to work on all the trades, do a little plumbing, a little electrical, uh, air conditioning, what have you, a lot of times they'll take somebody with a bit more of an air conditioning background because it does deal with plumbing and electrical also. Also, um, even department stores uh, typically hire their own, sometimes hire their own people to handle their own stores. I used to work, uh, take care of a lot of Nordstrom department stores. Um, restaurants, uh, a lot of times they hire their own people to do restaurant work. And I, I started off doing a lot of restaurant work, even as a teenager, Taco Bells, things of this nature. Uh, there's a lot of work at these little restaurants. Um, any restaurant, not only the air conditioning and the exhaust fans um, and, the, and the evaporative coolers, but all the refrigeration involved, the little walk-in freezer, cool, walk-in cooler, display cases, etc., ice machines. So, and it's pretty steady work. Um, so actually, even places like here on the West Coast, in and out Burger have their own HVAC are uh, people um, working on uh, movie theaters. Uh, the one thing I haven't worked on that I've always wanted to work on is ice skating rinks. Ice rinks, um, that might be something to get uh, a career opportunity in. Casinos, um, they hire uh, their own people. Um, they usually use 100% fresh air and flush the casinos. Uh, when I walk through a casino, I really don't gamble, but, but I'm looking at uh, the return air uh, by the vending machine sucking out the smoke. Uh, right there, they suck the air out by the vending machines. They have a little ashtray, so I'm always uh, aware of these things. Um, and people are like, why are you staring at me? No, I'm just looking at the return air. Please don't uh, be offended. Uh, also, auto AC... Um, transport refrigeration. How does all this food get to all these supermarkets and markets? They have to be refrigerated. Somebody has to work on that. So uh, there may be some opportunities there. Again, um, airports, uh, LAX, Burbank, what have you, um, the air conditioning at the airport and flushing the airplanes, working on the airplanes, air conditioning, that's also a niche uh, field in air conditioning. Um, water treatment. Uh, when I first started my apprenticeship, I worked for ACO for a number of years. Um, they put me right in water treatment, taking care of cooling towers, evaporative condensers, a little bit with chilled water and hot water, uh, cleaning them, get, making sure the scale inhibitor, the algicides, the conductivity controllers were correct. Knowing that, being having that skill set um, is important. Um, 
uh, especially if you're going to work on larger equipment like chillers. Um, you know, working on the refrigerated shipping containers that come on into the ports like Long Beach, you actually can join the Longshoremen's Union um, and work on those. Um, and then sometimes also, you know, once in a while in your life, you know, you ever get just like totally sick of everybody? Just, just sick of everybody. Your mom's nagging you. Your girlfriend, you've been with her for a while. And now she's starting to sound like your mom. And she's nagging you. And you can't take it anymore. And then you're trying to get on with your life. And the trade and the old homies are trying to draw you, drag, drag you back. And you come on and have a six-pack of 40. And we'll smoke a joint and this and that. And you're just, ah, and you're just all hassled. And you just, I want to just get out of here. You know what? Seven K, jump on a cruise ship. Jump on a cruise ship and work on the air conditioning and the electrical and the refrigeration at day and during the day and dance with the old ladies at night and just get away from it all. You ever just want to hang it up and just get away from everybody and go jump on a ship, a fishing boat or whatever? You can do that with air conditioning and refrigeration. Um, amusement parks. Perhaps you like Disneyland. You can work there on the air conditioning, uh, on the refrigeration, on the rides. Sometimes they have different temperature environments in different parts of the rides to um, create a better sensation for you. Uh, you know, uh, aquariums, how about that? You know, the Long Beach Aquarium, even a place like the Queen Mary, they hire their own people because it's a floating hotel with three and a half restaurants. They hire their own people. So you can look and apply at these websites. Go and pursue actively looking for these opportunities and be the first one. I do another lecture which I, um, about different techniques in getting a job in the trade, which is another story. Um, so perhaps you might want to get involved in engineering or project management at LA Trade Tech. We also offer a class on project management, which deals with remodels and building new buildings and bring all the trades together and scheduling everything and ordering all the parts and all of these things. Um, perhaps also maybe you want to get involved in cryonics or cryogenics, deep freezing things down well below 200, negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit. People want to preserve their bodies and brains for hundreds of years and so they can be brought back to life in the year 2500. Does that sound interesting to you? Uh, or, you know, being a building inspector, that's a, a good job, easy job. Walk around with a clipboard, ruin people's lives and days. You know what I mean? Very powerful, sinister. I kind of relate to that. And um, actually, I teach a class. Here's a little advertisement, refrigeration, air conditioning, 199. Watch Needham lay down the law of the trade. Uh, mechanical code class, which can be found uh, uh, at LA Trade Tech. And it's an entry level to help you with becoming a building inspector, passing a contractor's license, starting your own business, um, et cetera. Yeah, we didn't talk a lot about starting your own business, but that is an excellent way to become financially uh, independent. It's a risky thing, but that's certainly a career path and a great career path where you can control your own destiny and uh, have your own business. Um, takes some planning and preparation don't just like get out of school and dive in. Uh, count the cost first. Or perhaps one day as a career path, you might like to teach air conditioning and refrigeration.